welcome back to my youtube channel and today is another video today is a very special day for me it's because i am 23 no more <laughs> so i can't believe how time flies and yeah i am a year older and uh, i haven't really did a like I haven't done a lot of things this year it's because of the pandemic but nonetheless I am grateful that I am a year older today I could say a year wiser a year stronger and a year bolder than my previous selves previous selves marami <laughs> so please do excuse my puffy eyes um it's just time check 7 a.m 7 30 to be exact in here and i am currently in my hotel room here in london gatwick um i mean everything that's going on all over the world i am still thankful and i'm still blessed for my dear life and i owe it up to the almighty father and for everything that I've achieved in my existence. Um, I think um, this video is just full of gratitude. Um, um, I don't want to be emotional in this one, but this is a glimpse of a life of a flight attendant during her birthday. So um as i am an a layover that means i am alone in my room and i'm currently here in my restroom because the light is so good so yeah um i am planning to get some stuff in the supermarket this early because you know me i'm an early bird <laughs> um with my previous vlogs i've been going out from my hotel room uh early morning to catch the sunrise but apparently today it's a bit uh rainy season here in london so it's gonna be a little bit dark and gloomy so there's no sun to to catch up but um yeah to make the story short let's just go and head to the supermarket and see what we can get for ourselves just for my safety and the safety of people around me if there will be any people around me so I'm currently walking so this is the hotel that I'm staying it's Crown Plaza I don't know if you can see it but it's that one and even if it's still early there's a lot of cars already so I believe people here are morning people like me <laughs> so I am just heading to the supermarket. I believe it's around um, seven minutes walk. So let's go. Well, I guess I'm the only person <laughs> walking on the street this early. So, might as well breathe some fresh, breezy air. Uh, it's a bit chilly, but it's not very, very cold. So, it's just perfect weather. And, uh, I'm sorry if it's a bit noisy because I am on the side of the road. So, uh, while I'm walking, I'm gonna give you a quick story why I end up being here in London on my birthday. So, every 
every month we receive our schedule. For example, um, it's today is this month is September. <sighs> okay, so this one is September, and then by the end of September we will be receiving our schedule, or we call it roster, for the next month. So we will have the entire schedule for October. So I will know where I'll be flying and which dash the which <laughs> which which destination that I'll be going. So this for the month of September, I'm supposed to have a five day home standby. So home standby, home reserve. That's what other airlines call it. So in case somebody won't make it on the schedule on their scheduled flight i might be called out or pulled out from standby to operate the flight so basically uh, i finished my first day of standby i didn't get called out and then on the second day of standby i was supposed to have a standby of <laughs> 9 p.m to 5 a.m and <laughs> oh my god i don't know if it's a great idea that i'm doing my story time here anyways so i was preparing for my home standby and uh, at 5 p.m to be exact a text message was uh, popping on my phone saying that i have some roster changes or schedule changes so as I was taking my phone out and checking my schedule, I found out that they will be <laughs> sending me to London Gatwick. And not only that, but they're giving me a day off in London Gatwick on my exact birthday. So September 22 yesterday, we arrived in London Gatwick around 6 a.m. So I have the entire day. And then today, September 23, I have a day off which means I have the day for myself and then we will be flying back tomorrow in Doha at around 8 in the morning so that's the reason why I am here in London Gatwick and uh, yesterday I was out in the city in London to meet my friend Emma so I'll show you a short clip and uh, today I'm just planning to chill for myself because of the weather as I say it's a bit gloomy today so I'd rather chill in the room maybe that's why I'm going to the supermarket to get something for myself so yeah that's the reason why I ended up in London for my birthday so as I am talking to you guys, I am reaching the supermarket. Mm. What should I get? So uh, one thing that is required here in London as of the moment is if you are in a public transportation or if you are in a establishment, uh, they require you to be wearing face masks and they are also reminding everybody to social distance. So that's quite good um, for everybody's safety. And I don't know what am I about to say already. So yeah, let's just fast forward this and reach the supermarket soon. <laughs> I just came out of the supermarket and um, I think I almost have everything that I wanted except for the wines. <laughs> I'm so sad because those wines are so good. <sighs> I have the sparkling one and the rosé as well but apparently I cannot have it because I didn't bring any ID with me. So guys an update I just finished 
doing my stuff at the supermarket and uh, basically I have some stuff here in my bag and I can't wait to reach the hotel as you can see the hotel is just right over there and I can't wait to reach there and prepare my stuff because uh, today is Wednesday and Wednesday is live day on my Facebook page Facebook page, I mean Facebook account and also in my Kumu account so oh my gosh please excuse me I, I know you can clearly see my pimple it's so disturbing but just please excuse me for today um, I'm rushing because it's already about 4 p.m. Philippine time which is my timing for my live stream and after my live stream my live stream in my Facebook account I will be doing my final live stream for my FA diaries for those of you who have watched my FA diaries thank you so much for supporting my concept concept content content rather in Kumo so uh, I'll just quickly reach my hotel room and set up everything and do my live stream. So we'll update you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm already back in my hotel room, so let's get ready. Luminous balloons. So I'm just gonna blow it with my own mouth because I don't have a pump. So it says we have to pull this. We have to pull this one out and then start putting air on it. So let's see.
just quickly um, freshen up my face <laughs> and uh, I don't know how time flies so fast um, it's already 4 25 in the Philippines 4 25 p.m. in the Philippines so I badly need to go on my Facebook live as I always do every Wednesday so here I am and I'm gonna go on my Facebook live and right after right after doing my Facebook live, I'm gonna be doing my final um, FA Diaries in Kumo. Um, actually, I didn't prepare for this one. For the last concept of a day in a life of a cabin crew. So, I'll just briefly, briefly share what it is in a day of a life of a cabin crew. So, uh, I already <laughs> uh, felt like I would already... Um, Put some decor in my room and i really feel that it is really my birthday so for now i'm gonna go uh yeah i just need to go on facebook live and i'll update you later so see ya <laughs> Happy birthday, Bessie! Love you! Hi, Zai! Happy birthday! And thank you for being such a good friend. And thank you for all the memories that we've shared sa the travel na to the Visa Negros. And hopefully, we'll reach our dreams and goals in life. And I will always be here for you. Hi, Ate Zai! Ate Zai is Madiscarte sa buhay. Uh, I would really want to um, thank the people who uh, developed the technology because even if we are thousands of miles away, um, somehow I was able to celebrate my birthday with my family. So I was surprised by that. I didn't expect it that they prepared something to celebrate for my birthday. So uh, a big shout out to my family. Thank you so much. And uh, know that I love you and I miss you so much. And I can't wait for the day that I can finally see you again. So it's been nine long months since I last saw you guys. And <laughs> oh my god, why am I crying? I don't want to cry. But no guys, um... I am a crybaby. I'm a crybaby, and that's a fact. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you, thank you, everyone who treated me in my birthday. Thank you so much for the time and the effort that you exerted to extend your greetings towards me. And uh, please do take care of yourself and stay safe always. So, the question is, what is my birthday wish this year 
to what really is my birthday wish this year well it's not really a wish for myself it's it's a wish for everybody i wish that things would go better uh that we could live life again more better or even better than how we lived it before uh, i wish that uh, we will have the freedom again to enjoy life and to be with our loved ones to travel freely um, to be not afraid of going out because of the viruses anymore and I just wish that I just wish that everybody can can one day achieve what their heart desires because for me I am more than blessed more than I could ever ever imagine I am so thankful for the Almighty Father for all the blessings that he has showered me and my family like I couldn't ask for more guys I couldn't ask for more but for him to give me more time because nobody knows what the future holds nobody knows until when we're gonna stay in this world so I really um, wish that uh, he will give me more time, more time to spend with my family, to my friends, my loved ones, and more time to enjoy his creation because I truly, truly enjoyed his creation. Um, I'm truly blessed to have this job of mine, to see most of the world, all over, like all over the world that I never have imagined that before that I will be where I am today. So, so much of the drama. To you, happy birthday, dear Zenith. Happy birthday to you. Sister preparing for some chuchu, small chuchu lang naman.